Hey guys, this is Team Ash and we're back with another awesome project and we're going to show you how to make a hovercraft. And for that we need a sheet of thermocol, a drawing compass, a ruler, not a divider, and a cutter. First we need to cut out an oval shape for the top layer. For that we are going to draw and cut two semicircles with a diameter of 10 centimeters, but you can make the body bigger or smaller if you want. We need to do the same for the bottom there. Cut out the center leaving half an inch of the water from all sides. Now for the skirt, we need a polishing sheet or any sort of slippery plastic material and cut it about 1 inch wider than the bottom layer on each side. It doesn't matter if the skirt is the exact same shape as the bottom layer, which it isn't in our case. Now place back the centerpiece so that the bottom layer becomes a little stiffer so that it doesn't break while we are taping the skirt onto it. Don't tape the skirt too tight, leave some slack from all sides like this. Now cut out a rectangular shape or a diamond shape from the center of the skirt. Tape its sides to make it thicker so that it isn't teared while in motion. I use scotch tape to do this because it reduces friction as well. With that, the bottom layer is complete. Now to get started on the top layer, draw a circle the size of the propeller you'll be using and cut it out. After that, stick the two layers together. Now, time to attach the motors. First, we'll attach the lift fan. Then the servo. And finally, attach the thrust motor right on top of the servo motor. And for power, which we need a lot of, we are using two 3.7 volt LiPo batteries to which the lift fan and the thrust motor are connected directly through a switch and another battery pack to power the Arduino to which the servo and an HC05 Bluetooth module is connected. So now I'm going to show you what will happen when you do all of this. Wait for it. Wait. There you go satisfaction.
Please like, share, and subscribe, and please share this video. So thank you for watching, and see you next time.